Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be telling you about a database called Academic Search Premier. This is one database in many, many different databases that I'm going to be showing you on my YouTube channel. This particular database is powered by EBSCO or EBSCO host. EBSCO has many different databases. If you go up to the top beside where it says Academic Search Premier, you'll always see the words choose databases. And from there, you can choose many different ones. You can choose one about newspapers. You can choose ones about psychology. You can choose ones about teaching, health, there's all different things in there. But the nice thing about Academic Search Premier is it is a nice general database. I am using this one through Discus. I'm actually in South Carolina and Discus is with the State Library here with South Carolina, but it is also available through schools. It is available through public libraries. It is a tool that is available through your paid for locations because this is a subscription-based database. It is not free. But because our state support, because we have state support through our public libraries, our school libraries, our academic libraries, our state libraries, you more than likely can find this through your state somewhere. So ask your teachers, your librarians, your public librarians, your state librarians, if you're in college, your college librarians, your professors, you would be able to find these types of databases. They will be able to hook you up. What I am doing is a basic search. I'm already in it. It says basic search right here in the middle. I am able to look for full text, which means all of the text is there. I'm not just going to get a review. I'm not just going to get a paragraph, which we call an abstract of what the article is about. I can look for scholarly articles, which means those are data driven or research based articles. If you look over here to the right side, you can see publication types and I can actually look for periodicals, newspapers, books, educational reports, all types of stuff. You can also look for other types of document types. You have a whole list of things you can research for. And then with your basic search, you have a very Google type search tool, or you can click on advanced search, which is my personal favorite. If you go to an advanced search from there, if you've seen my keyword search video, you've seen me use this. So if I were going to look for using my terms that I use in every video, just about, I look for teens and politics. Now I've left it wide open. I could look for scholarly peer review, data driven articles. I could look for only newspapers, books, things like that. I'm going to leave it wide open. And over here, I could look for and or teens or politics. I don't want to replace those. That's what or would do, but I could look for teens or teenagers. I could look for politics or politicians, but I'm just going to do teens and politics because I want to search for them together. I'm going to click search and I got 312 articles about teens and politics. Now, if you saw my Google video, I got like millions of articles. If you look over here on the left, you'll see that my articles go from 1980 before many of you were born, I'm sure up to 2017. So if I want to change that, if I want more recent articles, let's go for the last 10 years, I can update that. So that brings me down to half, 133. Now, I know you probably don't want to scroll through 133 articles, but there's a whole lot less. And then I can also look over here at my source types. I see that I got 63 data-driven or academic journals, 35 magazines, 26 newspapers, so on and so forth. So if I wanted to look at my academic journals, I could see about attitude towards senior secondary school students, state level voting patterns about adolescent vaccination coverage, girls are equal to education, politics, and the making of teenage feminism. Like the sound of that one. I'm going to bring that up. Girls are equal to over here on the left side, you'll see where it says full text. You're always looking for the words full text. Depending on the database, it could be on the left, could be on the right, but you're always looking for the word full text. And then just a few other things to show you over here on your right side, you can email the article to yourself. You can save it. And the most important thing for everybody, you can click on site and it'll give you all the different citations for your article and you can click copy and paste. Just a few things to show you here with this particular database, one of many with EBSCO, really like Academic Search Premier, easy to use, easy to find things, good, useful articles for whatever you might be researching. If you like my channel, please subscribe, share with your friends, 
Thank you so much. More videos to come. Have a great day.